Monday, August 23rd. I'm Barbara, and this is Simon Says. I would like to acknowledge that we are teaching on Treaty 6 land. Each week, we read the land acknowledgement as we show our respect for the Indigenous peoples who were here long before the European settlers. In 1876, Treaty 6, the contract between the Canadian government and Indigenous peoples here, was signed. This contract allowed the Europeans to settle on this land. This contract also promised the Indigenous peoples land of their own, as well as help with medicine and education and agriculture. We respect the Indigenous peoples were the first peoples on this land. This is our final week of EAP. I want to thank all the students who eagerly participated in the SEC workshops and various activities. A special thank you to Parks Canada and the Center for Writers for their excellent presentations this summer semester. I also want to extend my gratitude to the many volunteers who joined our conversation clubs every Thursday at 1 p.m and 10 p.m. Thank you for sharing your experiences and your knowledge with us. It was truly appreciated and an invaluable experience for all of us. This week, we will have two Student Engagement Center workshops. The first one will be on Monday. We will have a reading and writing workshop at 1 p.m. and 10 p.m. Tuesday is the last day of class for our EAP students, but I would like to invite you to come back on Thursday night, 10 p.m. Edmonton time, for one more conversation club. We will have many students from the CSGCO group, as well as many volunteers excited to talk to you as you prepare for your September semester. Please join us 10 p.m. on Thursday if you would like to join Conversation Club one more time this summer. I would now like to share some important news from the University of Alberta. As the start of the fall term approaches, the U of A recently published some important information to promote a healthy and safe learning, working and living environment. Starting September 1st, at the University of Alberta, students, faculty, and staff who are not fully vaccinated and those who prefer not to disclose their vaccination status will need to regularly complete a rapid screening test and receive a negative result before they are able to participate in any in-person activities. Also, non-medical face masks must now be worn in all public indoor areas on the University of Alberta campuses where physical distancing is not possible. Furthermore, the University of Alberta will continue to require those with COVID-19 symptoms or a positive test to self-isolate for 10 days from the start of the symptoms or until they receive a negative COVID test result. More information can be found at the University of Alberta website under COVID-19 information. I know we are all getting excited for the return to campus. Please be sure to check your UAlberta email regularly for updates from the University. Also, be sure to check the University of Alberta website. Lots of changes are happening, but we are so excited to welcome you to Canada and to welcome you back to the University campus this fall. See you soon! And this was Simon Says.